A quick video today for any owner of a Stages Power Meter, a Stages Smart Bike, the SB20, or a Stages Dash Cycling GPS computer. Stages have recently refreshed their app in the App Store and consolidated into just one single app, the Stages Cycling app, replacing Stages Power and Stages Link. I'll put links in the video description below to both the App Store and the Android Play Store for this app, but a quick overview. Stages here say they've introduced a new cycling app for an upgraded experience for the SB20, the Smart Bike, the Dash, indoor bikes, and power meters. The brand new Stages cycling app is the only app you need to record, share, and analyze your ride data, sync courses and workouts, and manage all of your Stages devices. And as mentioned, it replaces the Stages Link and Stages Power apps. Now I'm not too concerned about the recording indoors and sharing and analyzing the right data. What I'm looking at today is the device management. I'll do a firmware upgrade on the Stages Gen 3 power meter and we'll look at the device configuration and management of an SB20 with this new app. Okay, out with the old, these two here, and in with the new, Stages Cycling. That's the one we're installing today. We'll hit get on that. And a few seconds later, it will be installed. Stages do recommend deleting Stages Power and Stages Link prior to installing Stages Cycling. Okay, once installed, it's a brand new app, so we have to set up the permissions and the authentication and the user configuration, which I'll quickly skip through here. And once done, it's into the device management side of things. From there, we can select Power Meter, Stages Dash, Stages Bike, or Heart Rate Monitor, which we can add for our workouts. Now, I'm going to be upgrading a Stages Gen 3 Power Meter. So we'll quickly scan for that, 44951, connecting, and surprise, surprise, there's an update. So it was 1.7.1. I'll have a quick look at the release notes to see if it is worth upgrading, although I usually upgrade to whatever the latest is. So there's quite a few updates there, that one there being the significant one. Dual BLE connections, reduced amp plus signal interference, etc. Okay, that all looks good to me. Let's hit update to get it to 182. Okay, all done. Okay, all the settings look good for that. Post the upgrade. We'll do a zero reset there and all looks good. Okay, so stages Gen 3 left crank, updated with the new app and all looking good. Now onto the bike. The new app does require a brand new configuration and setup, so we'll pair the stages bike We'll give it a setup. We'll call this Llama MTB because I have the SB20 here set up in mountain bike configuration. It pairs to the bike. Okay, we're good. And there's a firmware update for this as well. SB20 firmware updates are very, very fast. So I don't even need to speed this up. We can play it in real time. And it is done. Now, one tip with the SB20 to check the power meter battery levels on both sides, because they have two separate power meters on this bike, both left and right. You need to pair both power meters within the app here and then connect to them and click on the data tab. You see they're 98% on the left. We'll go over to the right crank, data and 97%. Hopefully soon we'll see that battery level within the stages bike sensor but we can't see it there right now. Clicking on data gives us the gearing, power, cadence, and balance. Power meters just tells us what power meters are connected, but doesn't give us any battery level. With everything configured, I've loaded up Zwift, and you can run the SB20 without the Stages Cycling app loaded. It runs in effectively a headless mode, and the gear changes work as configured. But if you do load the Stages Cycling app, you will get the gearing information on screen, as well as the new stats provided within the Stages Cycling app which match what's being sent through to Zwift one for one, which is a good thing. You also get left, right balance on here too. And yes, you do get the gear change sound as well. Now, if you find your gearing isn't quite right during your ride, you can change that in real time. So we'll change from custom down to dream drive. Now dream drive, you can change the total number of gears up to 50 if you like. We'll leave it on 25 here and we'll sail through, which takes quite a while on the one by and back up probably a little bit too many gears for the uh, the flat road that I'm on at the moment so we'll switch this back to a we'll put a 40 on the front a virtual 40 and then a 12 speed 1050 on the rear Okay, that should be a pretty good MTB setup or virtual MTB setup. 
with some decent gearing all the way to a one-to-one -one ratio for some climbing if ever I hit the hills on this long road here. Anyhow, just a quick overview of the app and how it integrates. But as mentioned, not a requirement to load this if you're using a third-party app, such as Zwift. So there we are, a quick overview of the new Stages Cycling app and how it does device management for their power meters and their smart bike, the SB20. There's a lot more to it than what I've shown today with ride record, control and upload to third party services and data analysis. That may be for another day though. But for now, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching as always. It's YouTube, so do this. Hit subscribe to support this channel and we'll see you soon.